Hey guys, uh, it's Friday morning. We're here in Dallas in the Lakewood area uh, of Dallas where they have tons of beautiful trees. We really love working out here because everybody loves their trees here and it's extremely important to them as it is important to us. Uh, the thing is, here in the area lately, they've had a lot of issues with oak wilt um, and which can be an issue pretty much anywhere in Texas. So we wanted to make a quick video and show you guys what we do uh, pretty much daily to sterilize our tools just to prevent and to make sure we don't have any issues with spreading the oak wilt. So we've taken the chainsaw apart. We've got Jaime here, he's gonna be our, our, our guy. He's gonna show, show you guys what we, as we do. We already gave that a nice scrub, we cleaned it with dust. And so now he's gonna do is gonna use this bucket. We'll pour some alcohol, is what we like to use. It's what my dad taught me years ago. It's at least 70% alcohol. Be nice and strong to kill all the bacteria. We'll give it a nice little scrub, you know, to a double scrub, just to make sure we get everything really clean. And then he'll move on to the chain. We can just leave that in there. So it's, it's real basic, same thing with the chain. You grab the alcohol, spread it nice and, nice and, you know. It's cheap alcohol, so we can we're real, real, real generous with it. So it's all good. We want to make sure we get it nice and clean. Give it another scrub. Scrub it real nicely. And then once we get it all scrubbed and it's all clean and we feel comfortable that it's gonna be disinfected, we'll put the blower, we'll blast it dry. But either way, you know, we got to let it dry before we can start work, um, either naturally dry or air dry with the, with the blower. Um, and the thing with the alcohol, the reason we like to use alcohol, I mean, there's a tons of things you can use differently, but the alcohol is actually best on the, on the metal and the equipment helps us prevent rusting. I don't like Lysol and all that stuff, it might damage your tools. Uh, so that's the same thing, we'll do every chainsaw that way, even the, the hedge trippers, the clippers, and all that stuff, get it real nice and clean that way. There's no chance of infecting the trees that we work on on a day-to-day -day basis. And the customer's really, really happy and they really love that we do that for them because they, like I said, they really care about their trees here just as much as we do. So I well, hope that helped you guys. You know, if you have a project at home, you do your own trees, that's awesome. Uh, now you have an extra tip on how to keep your tools clean and keep your trees safe. So hope that helped you guys. Have a nice day. Thanks to uh, my man Jaime here. We got Randy over there. I don't know if you guys see him. He's got a great smile. Hi, guys. But anyways, thank you guys. Have a good day.